the Korean tech giant is trying to replace some of the two. 5 million smartphones it has recalled in 10 countries, citing fire-prone batteries. The recall has hit its market value. The South Korean tech giant issued a warning about the unprecedented mandatory update today, revealing the software would automatically download and install itself on old Note 7 smartphones and would stop its battery from charging more than 60%. Australians still using the smartphones, recalled due to faulty batteries and a risk of fire, will receive a warning message about the update, and will then be told, for safety concerns related to the battery, the maximum charge will be limited to 60% from now on. Take them back, Samsung recalls more than 50,000 phones in Australia. Do not fly, Australian Airlines ban Samsung phone from in-flight us. The world's biggest smartphone maker recalled its flagship phone worldwide on September 9, asking customers to return the Note 7 to stores or telcos for a full refund, replacement or repair. At the time of the unprecedented recall, the company had verified 35 reports of the Note 7 catching fire while charging though more fires have since emerged, including one that burnt down a Jeep four-wheel drive in the US. Samsung Electronics Australia Mobile Vice President Richard Fink said the Force software update was designed to limit the risk to Note 7 users. We are working to identify and execute all appropriate measures to protect customer safety, he said. We continue to urge customers who still have an affected Galaxy Note 7 to complete a debt, backup and factory reset before powering down the device and returning it to their place O. Purchase to seek a replacement Galaxy Note 7 or alternate remedy of their choice. The software update will appear on Galaxy Note 7 handsets from tomorrow, with timing dependent on telephone carriers. Australian Note 7 users who are overseas will see the software update only when they connect the handset to a Wi-Fi hotspot. The company also revealed replacement Galaxy Note 7 smartphones would receive a different software update to turn its battery icon green to indicate it was a safe model. The new handsets were due to begin shipping to Australian customers tomorrow. The Samsung phone recall is the company's second major recall in Australia, after it recalled six top-loading washing machines made between February 2010 and February 2013. Following a series of fires, news, com, our privacy policy includes important information about our collection, use and disclosure of your personal information including to provide you with targeted content and advertising based on your online activities. It explains that if you do not provide us with information we have requested from you, we may not be able to provide you with the goods and services you require. It also explains how you can access or seek correction of your personal information how you can complain about a breach of the Australian privacy principles and how we will deal with a complaint of that nature.